Hey, this is Gene. I just want to give you an update to my uh, bladder cancer thing. I had a, uh, a biopsy last Monday and I had to wait all week and I called them on Monday morning uh, just a couple days ago and of course they didn't have they hadn't gone online to see what the results are so I they called me they told me to call in about two more hours so I gave them almost four hours and I called them back again and they found out that I have um, some sort of cystitis or whatever it's a, a inflammation in my um, neck in the bladder Apparently it's a normal thing for somebody my age. Uh, I asked him, is it related to all the scopes that I've had? Uh, maybe he, a little abrasion happened there. But anyway, there's no tumor or anything like that, so no issues. Uh, while I was waiting for this, I had some weird symptoms going on, and I think it was my anxiety that was telling my body to have these type of symptoms. Um, I got to the point where I actually believed that I had kidney cancer. <laughs> um, um, I started working out in the pool and uh, I started feeling uh, stuff where the kidneys are, which was probably just me muscles. And then I started thinking about it, went online, and I thought I, I found a, uh, a mass on my back and I started going crazy. And um, it's one of those things when you have an anxiety uh, that's something that, um, that was very. Um, strengthening after my stroke, uh, being very vigilant and hyper-focused and stuff like that, that you, and it may, it makes your brain start thinking that something's going on. So I got some blood works done uh, this week that I saw the doctor today and uh, she doesn't think there's anything wrong with me. She couldn't really find it, although I can feel it, but she thinks it's all muscle anyway. The big thing is that there's, it felt like there was something under my right ridge on the back. And then I went online and said this thing called a, a, a renal bump or lump, that it can be uh, an indication that there's cancer. So there's something there. <laughs> but she said it's um, muscular. The other issue is I just had a CT done last year. And the way kidney cancer is, is that people don't know really till when it's in a bad area, a bad time, almost in the late stages because it doesn't really manifest manufacts itself, manifests itself. So uh, it was clear back then. Uh, they looked at they looked in, at the kidneys back then. So I'm trying to relax. I think that a lot of this happened to do with my stress and doing different type of things to my back when I was swimming. And swimming. Um, it's strange, I went to a chiropractor yesterday and he talked about, he could figure out where all the problems were on my back and he went, one of the areas was exactly there right across from where my pain is in the upper back and he thinks that there are some sort of things there. So, the question is am I gonna stay with this chiro chiropractic or probably not, I'm prob the VA is, she recommended I go to Phil, physical therapy and if it doesn't work that way uh, with stretchings or something like that that she'll go ahead and give me a referral to a chiropractor so instead of paying 30 bucks every time I go see a chiropractor I don't have to pay anything I'll just have the VA pay for it if they decide that's a good thing for me uh, during that that whole week I was having all those problems with my stomach and my liver um, it seems a couple of, about three weeks ago or three months ago I was having some issues and I kept feeding myself ibuprofen to null the pain. I didn't have any real, really good stuff to, to null, null it. And what it basically did is it, it irritated my, my stomach and it damaged my liver even more. Although my um, labs came back and everything looks somewhat norm, normal in that, I still have some issues with my cholesterol. I don't have the good fat, let's say. So this new diet, oh, maybe it'll make it better. But anyway. Overall, I'm okay. Um, uh, it's just one of those things. Um, just from me to you guys, I think most people already know this. You shouldn't be taking Motrin a whole lot. It'll damage your, your stomach and um, the liver. Uh, and definitely don't do what I did. I was using that for pain, but then I was using my aspirin that I had to do for my stroke regimen. And together, it was like over 2,000 mil two milligrams of 
ins insats, and that's just not good. And uh, I thought maybe over these probably eight years I've been doing this that it wasn't really going to it wasn't going to do anything to me. I thought that I was immune to it, but the truth is I didn't take Motron every day. And when I was up in Alabama, I was taking almost every day because I was just really hurting. And um, so I just had to deal with the pain. And hopefully, I mean, right now it hurts like shit in the middle of my back because I'm doing this too. But um, it's just been raining all day. I would go into the pool, but I'll probably wait till later or tomorrow. So just want to give you that update. Thank you for those who reached out to me and. Uh, giving me well wish wishers uh, that was uh, nice and I'll probably put this on Facebook as well so you guys uh, people of my family and friends that I have or acquaintances I have over the last 50 years of my life want to know what the update is so thank you for watching you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you guys later and can't wait this weekend is football is back it's college football after Manchester United playing so bad <laughs> I need something else and hopefully that Manchester or excuse me that um Florida State will win on Monday. They always play on Monday, uh, first game of the year. I don't like that. I'd rather play on Saturday, but they're playing on Monday against Virginia Tech. Should be a good game, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Again, thank you for those that talk to me and try to help me out and console me or whatever. I appreciate it. You guys, again, have a good day and a good week.